Spring asks, did you play any maps on the Far Cry 3 map editor? Um, or have you made any maps? I actually did. Um, I did make maps on the Far Cry 3 map editor. However, I'm trying to wrap my head around it. I think I, I've tried going back to it. Um, and I think, if my memory serves me correctly, uh, Far Cry 3 was on the 360. And therefore, I think the maps were stored locally not on a cloud or a server or anything so i don't think i believe i've tried to get back and look at them in the past but i think they're just not there i think they were saved locally um despite being published and everything um so yeah yeah i had i did definitely did make maps i made multiplayer maps um, i think multiplayer pvp was the only option that was embarrassing i just gifted uh steph that one <laughs> But yeah, I did make maps on uh, Far Cry 3, and I would love to... I might revisit that, actually, because if I'd like to be absolutely certain there's no way I can get those maps back. Because um, it would be good to do another like revisit video, like I've done with Far Cry 4 and, and Far Cry 2. Um, I'm going to keep catching up. What's your thoughts on Halo Infinite from Swedish Man asking there? Um, yeah, it looks... Uh, I must admit, you again, absolutely gutted that Forge got delayed, but, you know, Infinite's... You know, at least it's coming. At least that mode they've committed to it. It is coming. If they need to take time with it, great. Um, but it just in terms of Halo Infinite overall, I'm curious. You know, I, I, I don't. I look. I, Halo. I love Halo. Um, it's a reason I got an Xbox all those years ago. Um, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't say I'm absolutely hyped for Infinite. I'm looking forward to it. Um, but you know. I, it's i just don't know what to expect like yeah they released gameplay the other week didn't they um of the campaign and stuff i'm really curious it could be awesome it really could be but i, I normally try not to get too hyped for any game in all honesty um and i, I like to be pleasantly surprised and bitterly disappointed um <laughs> and smithy i am bitterly disappointed in you for, uh, for the teabag, but I'm not surprised because he does that all the time. <laughs> Again, Smithy joins us uh, just about every week, so I know the antics he gets up to. Um, and now his antics are on stream and he's immediately had a bit of karma there. <laughs> um, but yeah, so look, I'm looking forward to it. Definitely going to get it. Cannot wait for Forge. If the leaks are anything to go by, Forge could be absolutely awesome. Um, as Big Jimbo gets a good shot on me there. Um, it sounds like we might be able to use forgeable AI. It's only leaks right now. Don't take that as confirmation. Um, so, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Really looking forward to Infinite. It will be really interesting to see what it's like. And I really hope, you know, I hope they hit it out of the park. 343, in my opinion, and by the sounds of things, many other people feel the same way. Um, you know, I've really missed the mark with Halo 4 and Smithy. <laughs> with Halo 4 and 5. Um... So, so yeah, I hope they nail it. I really do. I really do. Because it seems like they put a lot of effort. Like Halo, th like keep in mind, I have no game development experience, but Halo 4 and 5, you know, it did seem a little bit half-baked. You know, that that's not necessarily because of a lack of effort, but it just didn't live up to what we were hoping. And it's been so many years since the last game that I, uh, that I really hope they do well with this one. Because look, you know, everybody wins. If it's a good game, they get great success the game will perform well um, and we got an awesome game to play so as yeah definitely hoping for the best for halo infinite uh now i'm gonna just hide in a corner here i've got about 30 seconds before people can see where i am on stream and come and hunt me down let me check uh check with the chat we okay big jimbo found me uh smithy says every time you die you take a drink that's actually probably a good thing for my health thank you for that challenge i am going to take you up on that right now For the record, I'm really hoping you guys aren't getting uh, some ASMR drinking <laughs> with that. Uh, Voodoo, can you play my map Hillbilly Town? We absolutely can put that one on next. Callum, oh, no game audio. Okay, uh, thanks for letting me know, Callum. I'm going to put that up a little bit, guys. Give me a moment. Oh no, there was no game audio. <laughs> so sorry, guys. You should have let me know. I'm so sorry. 
Um, you've had nothing but my mouth and the fireworks uh, in your ears. So that was a really badly worded sentence, wasn't it? All right, I've got the game audio now. It's showing on my OBS here. So let me know what the balance is like, guys. It might be a touch too loud, potentially. Um, oh, Steph has bailed on us or lost connection. That's big Jimbo. All right, hopefully you can have you have some game audio now. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I uh, I actually turned that down manually in the pre in the pre-stream uh, countdown because I noticed the game audio was coming through. So uh, so apologies for that. I forgot to turn it back up. I actually thought it would have been I thought it would have been uh, on. Uh, I thought it would have gone back to the normal the normal default setting I had it at when I switched to the main to the main live gameplay with my mic and everything. But there you go. As I said, you guys are the guinea pigs tonight. Um, I am streaming for the first time, so hopefully, hopefully these things get ironed out as we stream more often. Thanks so much, Callum. Really appreciate you letting me know about that sound issue. Uh, audio sounds good. Thanks, Callum. Really, really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Um, a big thing, you know, one of the things that has kept me motivated throughout YouTube, without getting all soppy on you here, guys, um, is just how supportive and helpful everyone's being. YouTube can be a pretty rough place sometimes. People are very quick to... Uh, to shout out your flaws and if you know there's a problem with a video or poor editing or whatever which i have you know i've done pretty poor editing in the past um you know people can be pretty cool but uh, everyone who's come to the channel has been so supportive genuinely passed on useful information really helped me out in so many ways and callum you're just the latest example of that right now thanks mate uh swedish loves halo yeah hopefully we get a good game there um swedish is killing craig will be an achievement I hope they make that a uh, achievement. That has to be an achievement. They've got such an opportunity to embrace the meme there. Um, uh, Pepe Jack says, oh, Sam, have you finished Far Cry 6 yet? Whoa, oh, hang on a minute. I better... Oh, that is... Yeah, that was uh, some possessed... Uh, some possessed... Uh, or supernatural things going on there. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was pretty funky. Hang on a minute. I will get back to you, Pepe Jacks. I'm just going to... Make sure I'm not going to get slaughtered here in game, Smithy. Come on! Oh. <laughs> that um, that was some Michael Bay stuff right there, Smithy. I feel like that. Oh, who have I got now? All right, I'm on a roll here. Hang on a minute, chat. I know you're still there. I appreciate your comments, but I'm going to run with this because things are things are moving for me here. I'm going to embrace this. Who am I sneaking up behind? Matt Cool. Oh, Matt Cole. That wasn't exactly a skillful takedown, that one. That was just pure luck and a bit of flanking. Let's see if I can go hardcore here. Here we go. Bye, big Jimbo. The only bad thing about getting into those animations is that you are vulnerable. Um, because you are locked in the animation. People can shoot you. We've got here Matt Cole. Smithy. By the way, Matt Cole, who has joined the game. Welcome, mate. Thank you for joining us. Um, if you are on the stream. Uh... Oh, what was I going to say? Yeah, Mackle, when I put out the Looking for Group post, you can include a message if you say you're interested in joining us. Um, and Mackle said, I will bring the bathwater, referring to uh, that infamous stream moment from many years ago, which I just found absolutely hilarious. So a big shout out to Mackle for that one. That gave me a good chuckle today when I saw the uh, people who were interested. Ah, okay. There are multiple versions of this map, one of which has a stupid invisible wall there. Um, which I put there for some stupid reason. I always forget which version doesn't have that invisible wall, so I've lost some mobility. But yeah, this was one of the maps I built in... What was it? Oh, this is... Yep. All right, Smithy got me back there. Yeah. <laughs> and a bit of teabagging to, uh, to really rub it in. <laughs> Smithy got Matt Core. Yeah, I did jinx it. I did jinx it, Sonny. Sonny? Sorry, I've just called you Sonny Evans. Sorry, it's a last name. Do you guys watch Sonny Evans as well? The GTA, predominantly GTA YouTuber who does those horrific challenges. Emra and I love his videos. Um, but yeah, sorry, Callum has actually said that. But I saw the S Evans. Um, and just anytime I hear Evans, I think of that YouTube bar as uh, Smithy and I take each other down. But yeah, if you haven't checked him out, Sonny Evans, my god, that is one of the funniest YouTube channels I have ever seen. 
he puts him th himself through so much pain um doing crazy challenges like driving a plane from one end of the gta map to the other um like on the ground with traffic and he cannot die if he dies he has to restart um and it's not in single player it's in multiplayer open lobbies where you have all the usual trolls and all that fun stuff um yeah really good youtube channel um which was a, a bit of a rant i've got well not a rant um a tangent i've gone on there from uh purely messing up ow all right it looks like we're going melee only at this right bro the animation kills <laughs> yeah yeah animation kills that my god they feel awesome but they don't take a lot of skill once you get the high ground yes callum he does know who sunny evans is that's um that's good because hopefully you feel flattered by me getting you confused with him um actually no he should be flattered callum you're you're, you're the real uh the real sunny evans i don't know it's late it's like nine o'clock here what is it 20 quarter past nine here in in australia went for a, about 4k walk today went to get my hair cut probably got sunburned so if i'm a bit rambly um that's probably why and truth be told when it gets to this time of night i'm rambly anyway and my gameplay has just gone through the floor as well um smithy taking me out there again huge thanks still got 14 people watching us live thank you so much for sticking with it um again small lobby it's it's not normally this small sorry guys um so hopefully we do get some more people soon um but if not you know i do intend to stream these sessions every time we do them now so tonight might be a small night i'll try and make a looking for group post uh greater in advance next time hopefully you guys also catch on to the fact these things are going to be streamed more often so hopefully, hang on a minute focus yes um hopefully we can get some big lobbies if not tonight we'll we'll get that in the future and play some bigger maps as well because again there's some maps that i'd love to show but if i put them on with a lobby of this size it's not going to do them justice so i'd rather wait wait until we've got the big lobbies um and then put those maps on but we'll just stick with the small maps for tonight hey okay Ow, can i turn the tide again yes <laughs> see smithy he likes trolling people with horrible embarrassing kills um sorry i just shot at a ghost there um but it does catch up on him quite often but i do admire the commitment uh swedish says there is one map i made that's pve or pvp i assume you mean that called bridge brattles oh brattles covered it once yeah brattles awesome um a uh, pve yeah sorry yeah so that is solo and co i assume uh, yeah awesome yeah awesome to hear it got picked up by brattles um he's done some really good content brattles does has put a lot of effort into uh into far cry coverage for whatever reason that you know my channel's you know done quite well in the far cry community he probably hasn't got the attention that i feel he deserves he's done a lot of work i would say just as much effort as i have and for whatever reason um some of my videos have performed a little bit better but yeah I, I guess the key message there is go and check out brattles gaming if you like far cry content because um he produces a lot of great content um has made some awesome maps in fact might put one on now um so yeah definitely do check him out um and he's been a long-term supporter of me um and often joins for these sessions as well so uh yeah i thought i'd give him a shout out there got matt course and kershaw smithy we've got a bit of infighting in the uh in the chat here with the guys in game um right if i go he's brattles has an awesome paintball map i'm gonna see if i can find it here i assume this is gonna bring up a lot of options i should see it at a glance i do know what it looks like where is it hey there it is outback paintball in typical aussie fashion this is a good map a good good one again for um for small for small uh lobbies uh brattles is his youtube name brattles gaming but liking joker is his game attack that's why there's a bit of a disconnect there if you notice the map maker um but yeah let's get this one going only bad thing is again it is uh it is team deathmatch so teams are going to be unbalanced but yeah i hope the stream quality is good guys i've only noticed one person saying the stream was choppy so i'm hoping that was just isolated to them um smithy has said in chat no scopes only i'm gonna commit to that and you guys can hold me accountable 
Um, at least I'll try to commit to that and I'll probably give up after a minute. All right. Uh, all right, M16 Trooper. I assume I'm allowed to no scope with this thing. By the way, I'm running Far Cry 5 on the FPS boosted mode that comes with the Series X. Um, so we are running at 60 frames per second. I, I think I've set the stream to only go out at 30. Um, but one thing you may notice, this game is like quite badly optimized for that FPS boost. And I don't know if the quality of the stream is going to... Okay, sorry. Is the quality of the stream is going to demonstrate it. But these barrels are so geometric when the, you're on the FPS boosted mode. It looks so silly. Um, it was a very rushed job, the FPS boosted on this game. But 60 frames is 60 frames, and I'll take it any day. Another thing uh, I haven't uh, I haven't mentioned is that my laptop next to me that I'm using to monitor the stream and uh, keep an eye on on chat and stuff is uh, is a bit of a jet fighter. Whenever I put it under any load, so you guys hopefully can't hear it trying to take off in the background. The fan is absolutely kicking off right now. Oh my goodness! For for the record. That terrible shooting was uh, was because of my commitment to no scoping. So I've held true to my word there, even though it's made me look like a fool. Although, I'm going to give up on the no scope now. I'm going to go full commitment because we are losing that badly. So scopes are coming in. I see the flank going on here. Where's he gone? He's running back. There he goes. This is so satisfying. Brattles did a really good job. Um, with the weapons. I love the way he silenced everything to give that paintball effect. Um, Steph has joined back the game. We've got a 3v3 match on our hands here. That's good, although not good for our team who are losing right now. Ooh, I hear someone close by. Yep. Oi, it's a friendly. Sorry, Acid. I don't know if friendly fire's on, but that was uh, that was close if it was. We have, uh, we've swapped sides on the map there. <laughs> hey, Mecca. <laughs> yeah. Special tea bag just for the stream. Yeah, you guys can see probably here like just how geometric these barrels are at this kind of distance. And when you get closer, they do flatten out a bit or they do soften a bit. Oh, this is embarrassing. I think my teammate has saved me there, yep. And I think one shot kill is on, if I'm not mistaken. I'll put on armor piercing anyway, just in case. We're starting to turn the tide on this battle. I say we, I think I'm being carried quite heavily here by my teammates, Matt Cor and Acid. Um, oh, actually, I'll tell you what, maybe it's the, the spawn points that allow... It just calculates um, what end of the map a team should be spawning on based on, uh, based on where the players are. Because they seem to spawn at where we started. I don't know. I, I've been monitoring a lot of things here. Hello, Steph. I tried to assassinate them there. Nearly, nearly had egg on my face for that one. Oh, and I love this as well. Brados has got a tiny little vantage point here with a nice piece of cover. That actually works really well. Um, so he's done well here. It doesn't give you so much elevation. You can just absolutely destroy people in the battlefield. It just gives you a little advantage. Um, so yeah, one of the many things I like about this paintball map. I think I saw movement on the right-hand side. Hopefully, Macor is taking care of whoever that was. Yego has joined us as well. Welcome, mate. If you are on stream as well, thank you so much. That is that is officially the biggest lobby we've had tonight, the player count at least. So this is good. This is going in the right direction. Let's hope we can get a full lobby by the time we finish streaming for the night because I would, uh, I would love to play some big maps to finish this night off. Ah. Oh. I have no idea why I didn't take the shot there. Chuck saying it looks like a great paintball map. Um, absolutely, mate. This is one of my favorites. There's quite a few paintball maps, actually. Oh, no. Yego's left us. <laughs> right as I was getting excited. Um, oh, that's not good. Um, yeah, it is a really good paintball map. He's done a really good job of the environment as well. As an Australian, I can uh, attest to the accuracy of the look and feel of this map. Um with the surrounding surrounding environment. He's done a really, really nice job. Here we 
go. I didn't actually contribute there. Well done, that call, taking out that enemy. Way I say enemy as if it's just an NPC. But he is indeed a real player. Smithy has just taken me out. It's a close game, this one. Chuck, hey mate. Yeah, what's up? Great to have you with us, my friend. <laughs> hey, Callum's on his usual account now as well, Smither. Um, also, when you asked about the stream, only major problem was grass messing with the bit rates. <laughs> okay, that's good to know. See, this is all the... Um, oh, yeah, sorry, I was looking at chat there. Um, these are all the things I'm gonna I'm gonna have to get used to. Bitrate, I did a little bit of research prior to doing the stream. Um, I've set it up for what I believe is best for my connection, um, but I respect that sometimes grass and details like that just get screwed over by by the bitrate. So hopefully that is something I can fine tune. But I, as far as I understand, yeah, it's going to be one of those things that we just live with, as you point out there. All right, let's go auto here, because we are still losing. There's only two minutes left. Let's see if we can get some automatic weaponry to help us turn the tide of the battle. All right. we that's friendly. As there's a bit of a glitch spot there, actually. There you go, Brattles, if you do tune into this at any point. I mean, as far as glitches go, that's probably a good one to have. That's uh, really not a bad, bad thing. We've got a flank going on here on the right hand side. Let's see if I can take care of that. There we go, Big Jimbo's down. That's one problem solved. Good effort though, Big Jimbo. I nearly missed you making that that play. I'm gonna see if I can help out the team. I think they've got them over there anyway. And then I imagine the spawns are gonna flip here. Way not quite. Where is that coming from? I think Macor might have got him. Where are we? All right, we've got a bit of a bit of a freight train going on here. We've got a good good piece of momentum. We're sticking reasonably together as well. Oh, some shots have come over. Three v three, which is nice. Glad we've uh, glad we've got reasonably even teams. It may be a small lobby, but at least it's a reasonably fair lobby. What's going on here? Hey, Smithy. That was um, that was a bit of spray and pray there, wasn't it, guys? This is the bad thing about um, live streaming. I can't take the best bits of my gameplay and uh, then upload it on a video. I've got to be pretty honest about my skills, which aren't fantastic, even with uh, host privileges on the connection. But uh, hey, I'm sure if you've followed the channel for any period of time, you know you're not here for uh, world-class gameplay. <laughs> you're here for someone rambling on about maps and their design. And uh, in the final 12 seconds, let's uh, just, again, shout out to Brad. Awesome map. Love playing it. I'm not sure if this one's on the channel. I assume it is. Um, so check out Brattles Gaming on YouTube. Um, lots of good Far Cry content and many maps like that one there. Okay, uh, Will Sniff is saying that full-blown streamers have the same issue with bitrate. So I will, uh, I'll take that. That's good to know. Uh, that's not something I'm going to try and fix then if the top guys and girls haven't uh, managed to work that one out. I'm definitely not going to try and solve it either. Um, any map requests, guys? Let me know in chat. Mac are always down for that parkour map. Um, Smithy calling out the uh, the hit rate. Uh, sorry, the hit registration. That's uh, a very fair shout. It's poor. Um, do you know what? While we've got a small lobby size, the parkour map is actually probably a good idea because for some reason, it's actually a really good parkour map, but they've innate, they've got, they give you weapons. Um, and if you have a big lobby, chances are someone's going to blow each other up. Um, it's just a giant mess. But with a small lobby, I'm hoping if everyone's on stream here, uh, we can all agree to focus purely on trying to finish this damn thing. Bit of info on the creator there. I actually don't know too much about the the backstory of this map we just discovered it one day um, fallout player uh did you see my comment uh scrolling through fallout i haven't i can't see anything there mate so feel free to whack it in the chat again thank you for asking though rather than spamming the chat let's give this a go right now before i go any further if you are in game and you are on stream let's try and play nice with each other i'm gonna run for it anyway just in case. Now this one, those maps where it's got 15 minutes on the timer, but honestly, even if you absolutely nail it and never fall off once, it is difficult to finish this course in that time. I personally haven't done it. Um, I don't think 
uh, people have got close in the lobby because we've ha uh, we played this map a few weeks in a row now. Um, I think people have got close, if not all the way, but I personally have not got all the way. So if it looks like we're not being too careful, it's because we know that even if we make every jump, it's very difficult to finish this map in time. But fortunately, everyone seems to be playing nice. Thank you if you are in the game and in the stream as well for playing nice and not attacking each other. This map does take a bit of teamwork. All right, after the map court, as something goes bang, okay. There we go, it's it's begun. I've also seen that Will Sniff is in the game himself as well. Thank you for joining us, my friend. The fighting has started. I've nearly fallen off there. Here we go, awesome. One thing you've got to be careful about as well is when you get later on into this parkour map, you can, there's a few drops and things like that and a few grapples and you can very easily accidentally assassinate a friendly. Wait, okay, Smithy, after you, my friend. Smithy, I think, uh, I think, yeah, there you go. He's worked it out. Truth be told, he was probably just waiting because I think Smithy's played this before. But yeah, as far as parkour maps go, this is actually a really, really good one. It's, uh, historically, I hate parkour maps. I really, really dislike them. Um, but this one has the right level of challenge. Um, you can't be careless as you tackle it, but it's not so difficult that it feels um, extremely likely that you're going to fail at every obstacle. Um, so I actually really do enjoy this parkour map for that reason. And I must admit, I am trying so hard not to fall off this damn thing. Um... And they've got a good variety in uh, obstacles as well, as you can see here from the grapple. Oh, I've lost my momentum. Oh, that could snap. No, we're good, I think. Okay, we're good. And then it does this horrible little jump when you when you unhook. All right, we're getting to the point now. Um, just needs a body back there. I think that was one of the players, so I don't know how that's happened. Hopefully it's uh, not players taking each other out. Um, but as I was saying, this is part of the map now where you can accidentally assassinate your own, you know, the other players, even if you're just trying to navigate and not actually kill each other, um, because of the automatic assassination animation if you uh, if you fall onto a foe. Um, so yeah, we have fallen victim to that in previous weeks, but so far, we've got away with it. There's a really nasty spot for that coming up quite soon, which I'll point out when we get there. Same here with the zip lines. Really, really dangerous. If I just wait at the bottom here, I will get assassinated, even if the other player isn't intending to. Alright, let's keep going here. I've, uh... The first time I played through this, I was super, super careful. Um, but we've played it quite a few times now, so I'm quite used to it. Um, that said, you know, there's still plenty of room for mistakes. Um, which are bound to happen. The first time we came through this section, we swore there were like, somehow these were going to collapse on us or something like that. Fortunately, they can't. There's no scripting in PvP. Um, at least, unless it's a modded map. Who's ahead of me here? Smithy. All right. Just seems like Smithy and I here for now. All right, Smithy. Oh, I mean, I was going to warn Smithy that I was here. But it's a 30 second or so delay on the stream, so... Uh, Smithy, are you going to zip line, mate? Wait, are you okay? Yep. Alright, I'm going to let Smithy get ahead deliberately here. Because I don't want to, um... I don't want to take him out with an assassination. Although... I've got to be careful I actually make this. Oh, I should probably climb. I'm going to risk it. Nah, I've got to climb. I keep hitting that pole and losing my momentum. Oh, you're meant to zip line anyway. Sorry, guys. After playing this map all this time, I've still forgotten that's how some of the, how some of the obstacles work. Whew. If I'm not paying much attention to chat right now, guys, there's a snake, by the way, which has screwed us over a few times. Okay, now, don't be alarmed. This isn't uh, this isn't the bit right now screwing you over. This is just the the map. It's this crazy optical illusion. Is that where I came from? No, we're good. Where, yeah, you just work your way down. You probably didn't notice, but there's, a, there's actually multiple layers 
um, that you go down there and you can very easily assassinate other people, as I mentioned. Oh, damn the maze. I think Smithy memorized this, but I certainly haven't. Uh... By the way, if you're hearing any background noise, I am actually live streaming from my living room and Emma's right next to me playing um, Jurassic World <laughs> Evolution. So uh, just a bit of, if you know, if you hear funny noises, it's because there's, there's other people in the room with me or Emma's in the room with me. I had the feeling I'm getting... Uh, I spoke too soon. I had the feeling I was getting close to getting out there. There's nine minutes left on this match and there's a very real possibility we could be in this maze for that entire time. Actually, there's an arrow. Hang on a minute. We've got progress. This is what I mean. Like, the map is set up to challenge you, but they eat, the creator does help you out every now and then so that once you get through the majority of the maze, you know, there's arrows and stuff like that. Really, really appreciate the balance of difficulty the creator has done here. I feel really unsteady on these. Out of all the obstacles, these ones, for some reason, are making me uncomfortable. But just that awkward spacing. Too short to sprint, too, uh, too uh, far not to sprint. Right, now I don't think I've ever personally got this far myself. Self. I don't know. If I have got... Wait, okay, that's not what I intended to do. Um, jump to the next grapple in the line there. Um, as I was saying, if I have got this far, it's not been for a while because I don't really recall this part of the map so much. Again, sorry if I'm not really responding to chat right now, guys. I'm just trying to actually see how far I can get through this map. And as I said, even if you now everything... It's actually really difficult to finish this map in the 15 minutes you're given. Something went bang. I don't. S oh, I was just gonna say I don't see anyone on the kill feed, but there it is. Acid and uh, Steph are having a little battle by by the looks of things. All right, there we go. Oh wow, there's two people ahead of me. Sorry, I thought there was only one. There you go. I'm just a slow coach. I think I saw Matt Core and I actually can't. Uh, maybe Matt Core and Smithy, perhaps. Taking a guess there, sorry if I've called that wrong. Shout out to you guys, absolutely smashing it. Now one of my big fears in, in real life is uh, is wide open spaces, specifically the ocean. This isn't freaking me out, this endless abyss below that much, but I must admit I am a bit uncomfortable. I would rather have a solid floor that I, I can see I can fall over and die at, um, or fall to and die on over an empty abyss, because psychologically, emptiness just freaks me out. <laughs> um, but hopefully we're not going to visit that that void. Got a few people joining. Oh wow, check out the lobby size. There you go, we just needed to whack a parkour map on and we're golden. That's a lobby size where we can start playing some larger maps. Probably got less than half an hour left on the stream, if I'm being honest, guys. Um, but yeah, we will try and finish up with some nice big maps. I hope and pray this is what I remember. Oh, oh yep. Yeah. I thought I had that wrong. There's some invisible walls there. Right. Okay, there's a absolute shit show, if I'm being honest, taking place at the start line by the kill feed. Um, all right, let's go through here. I'm going to follow these. I assume this is the way we go. Wow, I don't think I've ever made it this far, which is exciting. I've caught up to uh, someone here. I think that was Matt Core, I want to say. By the way, my uh, Far Cry 5 character model has bunny uh, bunny mask slash ears on, um, which was from when we tried a hide and seek concept like a year ago, and I've just never changed it back. Um, so if you've ever noticed that when I've died, uh, that's, excuse me, that's the backstory. By the way, I literally have been focusing so much on the map um, that I haven't even looked at the, the live stream numbers right now. So a big thank you again to everyone who's stuck around. I don't know how many are still tuned in. When this map finishes or when we get to the end, I will check back in. But uh, I know you guys are there. Really appreciate it. Um, good to know I'm not talking to myself this entire time. <laughs> Can you imagine if Matt Core again, I'm taking... No, Smithy it is. Imagine if Smithy fell back then and assassinated me. That is something that would happen. In fact, I'm going to wait here just for a moment, just in case Smithy had any issues there. Oh, we've done well here. I wonder how far. I wonder how much further there is. I've, I've definitely never been this far before. 
so we will see. We will see if we can actually complete this thing. Oh my goodness, I caught a bit of a ledge there. Oi! Okay. Alright, remember we discussed the, um... Where is he? Did he fall? Did Smithy... No, there he is. Alright, Smithy, it's all yours, buddy. If, you've... if you're waiting for the stream, you go, bud. As I was trying to say... Um... You can accidentally assassinate each other. Um, so I'm leaving. Going to let Smithy get well ahead there. I don't want to take him out. He's done well. All right. He's far enough away for me to take a take a jab at, at landing this. This um. This is really luck at the draw. We just got away with that. That horrible uh, flick animation it gives you when you when you leave a grapple. Saved me on many occasions, but uh, but it nearly got me there because it just removes some control. All right, here we go. Drop down a little bit and let go. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not liking the spacing here. It's enough to make you guess if you can actually just walk. I think. Way okay. Oh my. Goodness, I do not like this. Yeah, this is now at the stage where it's playing with my my uncomfortable feelings of nothingness and emptiness because I'm looking into the void. I ha I, you know I have to acknowledge it's there as I navigate down here. Also, keeping in the back of my mind that Smithy is on this part of the course. Don't want to take him out. All right, a ladder, how hard can it be? Surely we're near the end now. Uh, I didn't actually take note if there was a safe platform at the bottom of this ladder. I assume there is, there is. Oh my God, there's a rat, trust. Oh, that is so cool, the rats. <laughs> the rat's on the way. Oh, he's adorable, check him out. Who cares if I don't make it to the end now? I think Emma was a fan of that. I just heard a uh, an acknowledgement of the cuteness. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit, where do I go? Two minutes left. There's no grappler, but oh wait, there is a grapple. Right, down we go. Uh, have I gone to the right place? Yes, we go out this way. Again, never made it this far before. The other thing that I really like about this parkour map, that the thing that makes me enjoy it a lot compared to most, is um, the variety and the obstacles and the challenges. There's everything's a little bit different. You never get bored. You're never just doing the same tricky jumps over and over. It's done a really good job to mix it up. Oh, we're so close. Sure. Well, I mean, I assume we're so close to the finish. Got a minute and twenty or so seconds left. I've, I've got the sweatiest palms, I won't lie. Alright, there's uh, You're close to defeat. There's some weirdness going on up here. Don't know what all the floating objects are about. Almost looks like assets have disappeared there, but I mean, let's be honest, it's not a visually realistic map. Sorry I'm being quiet here, guys. I'm just going to... Oh, no! Oh, the eagle. Bugger off. Bugger off. Don't go for me again. Hey, huge thank you to everyone who's joined the game, guys. Oh, we're so close to the finish. I don't think I'm personal. No, I'm not making that in 30 seconds, but... But, that I, I'm very happy with that result. I'm going to see how far I can get now. Ow. Alright, I can't fall too many floors at a time because you go into the paying animation. Paying animation? Is that a thing? Oh, I'm so close. Oh. I'm going to throw myself at this finish line if I have to. Onto the grapple. Oh, I was so close. It's right there. Surely I get bonus marks for the, um, for the grapple. For the grapple hook. Oh, okay. Let me catch up on the on the chat here. Well, I missed a lot. <laughs> okay, hang on a minute. Let me load up the next map. 
uh, given that we've got many players in the lobby now. We'll probably do one more map, guys. Um, either one or two. We'll see how we go. But yeah, that's a map I've had in mind that I really wanted to show you guys. I've actually wanted to um, cover it with a Maps You Can't Miss episode um, on the channel. But since we're streaming, might as well show it. Hey, a big, again, big thank you. 14 people still watching the live stream. Here it is, Morgan Siege by Hyena, um, who again, uh, admin on the Discord, does an amazing job. Very great for his support, and he's also an incredibly talented map maker, as you're about to see with this map. Uh, let me try and catch up, guys. Let me try and catch up on the chat. Oh, Flooded County, yeah, we could check that out, probably. Maybe a bit late tonight, but in a future stream, absolutely. Lobby's not full, so yeah, do join. I assume you have already. Sorry, I know I'm catching up a while here. Okay, it sounds like the stream is lagging every five seconds or so, if that's the case. Sorry, guys. Hope to fix that. All right, this isn't the class I wanted. Okay, and then out. Gun up, gun up. No, no, that, that's my fault. I left it a bit late. Hang on a minute. Let me see if I can respawn. Yep. All right. I know I've just cost us a point there. I think it takes up a, uh, a point. But uh, it will be worth it for what I'm about to get. All right. Most people that join us regularly know that this weapon is in the game and that it does have cluster ammo. And if they didn't, when they're watching the stream in about 30 seconds time, when it gets to you guys, um, things are about to get hectic, I would assume. <laughs> um, just notice, one or two people I mentioned, there might be a lag on the stream every, or a choppiness on the stream every 30 seconds or so. Uh, if that's the case, really sorry if that's being felt widespread, guys. I will endeavor to fix that. Um, but by the same token, if things are running pretty smooth, please do let me know as well. I don't want to go chasing issues that only... That, that may actually not be down to me. Um, but yeah, this concept here, it's a Middle Eastern set map. Um, one team are the sort of army, other teams are the, the insurgents. And uh, it's a really, really good map. They've done a Middle East map's actually really difficult to make um, in Far Cry 5 ZR, I personally feel. But this is such a good example of, uh, of how it should be done. Sorry, Smithy. <laughs> I missed you, but I got your vehicle. That's worse than death, let's be honest, losing your ride. Oi, good shot. You got me with a vengeance. Smithy, I'm so happy. Oh, yeah, yeah, Smithy, sorry. He's, I've just caught up on the chat. Smithy and Mackle made it to the end. I think that's the first time any of us have done it. Uh, the end of the parkour map. Well done. Hats off. I was so close behind you guys. But um, I'm so I was happy I got as far as I did. So hats off to you guys making it all the way. That's awesome. Uh, really, really good job. And our uh, good teamwork as well. We we're normally able to communicate. Hey, Mac. <laughs> uh, we're normally able to communicate in game, but because I'm just chatting with you guys, oh, hey, I'm not, I've got to get off this thing. We weren't able to coordinate and make sure that we weren't going to assassinate each other un unintentionally. So good work all round. I think that was a nice team effort. Alright. Cluster ammo going in. Oh, hang on. This could be bad. If I can survive a little bit longer. Oh, they've been sniped anyway. If they weren't taking out those rockets, would have got them. Good shot, Steph. Smithy saying, remember in the in the chat, he's saying, remember no crimes against humanity. Um, in terms of team killing. And then he's followed that up with Sam in all capitals. So I assume that's because I blew up his vehicle. Alright, you can see some of the intensity picking up now as people discover the mortars, people discover the clusters. I think I see someone on the gun there. I think they're going to be protected from this cluster shot, but we'll give it a go. It's actually fallen short. Oh! Someone's behind. Oh, 
I was look at the health bar in the bottom right. That was close. Oh, I heard a car as well. Are they close? Yeah, that um, that wasn't my best shot. <laughs> you know you're bad when. Uh oh, I heard a ticking time bomb. Uh, you know you're bad when you can't even hit a rocket at point blank range. Okay, I'm gonna make some moves here. Good, their gunner is down. I'm gonna keep pushing here. Oh, someone, Big Jimbo spotted me on the left hand side there. I'm gonna keep running. I just realized my health has not recovered. So I've been very lucky to get across No Man's Land there without dying. <gasps> I heard the ticking. I'm not sure if you guys heard that as well. The ticking was there. <laughs> Whoops. But yeah, this is such a good map. We've played this one so many times. We normally get really nice close games as well. This one's kind of close. Got six or seven. Six or seven kills in it is what I was trying to spit out there. I'm not used to not having a script, by the way, guys. So <laughs> the commentary isn't too dreadful tonight. And the other thing that really screws me over is that I am... Um, I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to recording my videos, like, and I don't say that in a good way, it, it really makes videos a pain in the ass to make sometimes, because if the slightest stuff up or stumble, like, chances are you guys really don't care if that, that's in the final video, but I always feel the need to stop and re-record as if it's the worst thing ever. So not having a script and not having the ability to re-record, because we're live, is, um, is a bit different. It's probably good for me because it's probably going to force me to uh, to get a little bit more relaxed when I'm doing uh, videos, uh, you know, proper videos where they're scripted and stuff. Hopefully it makes it a little bit easier for me to record them because I probably make things a lot more difficult for myself than they need to be in terms of uh, how on point the commentary is. But I've really enjoyed being relaxed um, tonight, just rambling on, chatting with you guys in chat. That was a lot of chat in a single sentence. But yeah, I guess that's one of the benefits of live streaming and, and why people enjoy it, because it's not overly produced. It's not overly scripted. It's not scripted normally. Especially when it's something like this. Right, Big Jimbo, I see you up there. I've probably got about 20 seconds before you see it on stream that I'm trying to take you out. But Mac all got him anyway. Where are we, guys? I think I... No, that's not a player. It's someone just... An asset on the bridge. Our team's really pushed in. <laughs> yeah. Nice work, Smithy. The long range tea bag just to cap it off. Voodoo said, love this map, need to have a go. Absolutely, mate. If you can uh if you can play this map sometime, definitely definitely worth playing. It's such a good good creation. It's, um, I think it's reasonably Battlefield inspired. I know there's another map which is all, almost recreation of a Battlefield map. Probably won't put that on tonight. We'll save that for a future stream. But, uh, Hyena does like making these wider, all out warfare kind of maps. And does a good job at them too. So we all benefit from that, from that passion he has. Oh, Nick's going to get me here. Oh, I was lucky to get away with that. I saw a proximity go down as well. But I think we're safe. So um, there are some flanking opportunities. You can walk through this pipe. Um, in fact, when I was preparing this stream for the first time, I thought, way something went boom. I was thinking this is probably the tunnel where I'm going to get stream sniped. Let's see if that's going to happen. Apparently not. The delay is big enough. Um, I wasn't sure if there was someone there, hence the, uh, the nade throw. Wait, okay. Oh, is that an RPG? I... Oh. <laughs> is that an RPG? Next snaps. I could have done with an RPG. Then I could have taken out their vehicle, their technical, as it was charging our base. A medieval map's good for that player, asks. Um... Yeah, I think we've only ever played one. I don't, and if we did, it was ages ago. Um, 
but I personally enjoy them. They're quite a challenge to make because the assets don't fit perfectly. You know, they're, they're not one of the things where you have everything you could possibly want. Ow. But uh, yeah, if you can pull it off, medieval maps are normally super fun. Only problem is with melee only um, is how much of a uh, how much of a mess hit registration is, especially where melee weapons is in Far Cry. So, you know, if you're not letting players use guns, you probably have to be prepared to sacrifice the gameplay a little. But I mean, if it fits with the theme of the map, players normally enjoy it. So, yeah, if you're considering making a medieval map, I say I say do it. going to be a brief pause here guys my laptop's about to run out of battery which is uh the tool i'm using to bring this stream to you so let me shut that uh let me connect that to power real quick all right we are connected we shouldn't run out of battery huge thanks we've still got 14 people tuned in guys thank you so very much um, I'm not sure how close the score was. I was trying to save the stream from, from dying there. There we go. Okay, it was quite a big gap in the end. Good effort, though, guys. All right. I've got time for one more map, guys. What should we do? Should we do absolute memeage or should we do something serious? Let me know in the chat. Do you want to see a silly map or a or a serious map? Let me know. So yeah, apologies, there will be a slight delay here as I wait for the chat to let me know. Oh, actually, do you know what? Sorry guys, if I'm jumping the gun here, Matcor has actually suggested one of his maps here, and I think it's a really good one to showcase, because it it's actually straight down the mi uh, sorry, that's not what I was meant to type. It's actually a map that strikes that perfect balance between serious and funny and it's not really funny it's just a really cool idea a really funky concept um oh hang on a minute if i can find it i probably spelled siege wrong i think back there that's why it didn't show here it is all right this is going to be our last map for the night this is a really really cool <laughs> <laughs> someone suggests um someone suggested spongebob mac corp <laughs> that's horrific that that's not even a meme that's just tragic that map if you guys have seen that but uh this one on the other hand is really cool so you've got two bases uh, and no, actually number one let's start with the visuals the visuals are really cool it's such a unique concept it's like cyberpunk cross blood dragon it's probably how i would describe it um probably more so on the blood dragon side though um and the two bases are actually everything is destructible uh which and it's, it's really good because it takes a while for everything to break down but uh as the game progresses the whole map kind of changes as different bits and pieces get destroyed so the white bits are destructible the black bits are non-destructible also awesome that he color coded that so people know what to expect but i mean i'm gonna take out our own base here but let me just give you guys an example of what we're talking about there you go you can see it start to destroy and uh and yeah as the game goes on the map's going to evolve because uh different parts will get destroyed oh and there's mortars so that normally takes care of the destruction nice work on the mortar that's what we need and the more you destroy, the less cover they have. Um, but importantly, there's still enough cover that you can, uh, you know, you're not just going to be spawn killed every time you jump in. They are such a cool map. And again, like I think I mentioned earlier in the parkour map, I have a horrible fear of giant open spaces and especially open water. So the fact this map has a, a light layer of ocean um, kind of does freak me out as well, but I really enjoy it. Right, here we go. Let's see if I can actually get a kill with the shovel launcher. I have failed miserably. There we go. <laughs> Let's be honest, that first shot should have uh, should have landed, but it didn't. Oh, Smithy with the flamethrower. This is the kind of gameplay you only get on this map. Oh, 
Oh no, I was trying to get behind to assassinate. Oh no. Alright, I've got Big Jimbo. Who else have I got? Smithy. I should get the kill on this one. Oh no. Yep, I did. I can see how torn apart the base is already for these guys. Yeah, that's the only bad thing. I've got a class which is really good for destroying their environment, their base. But the weapons themselves aren't that good. I mean, if you have talent, which, as we've just witnessed, I don't. A shovel launcher is a one-hit kill, I think, but... That, that, that assumes you can land your shot, which I can't. <laughs> as you saw, I missed the stationary target when he was on the mortar. Hey, big Jimbo. And I've done it again. Fortunately, he has the same problem, although, yeah, let's be honest, that that was never going to end in my favour. <laughs> hey, Time Traveller, see you in the chat. Um, I saw you voted silly. Hopefully this is still entertaining enough for you. We did uh, scale back the silliness, as I mentioned. So good to have you in chat. We've got a near full lobby as well. Um... But uh, yeah, seven minutes left on the game. This will be the last map I play for tonight. Even after I leave, the lobby will carry on. If you guys, I don't, I honestly don't know how long the lobby stays active. Um, it just promotes someone else to host. So yeah, if you want to play some Far Cry, hopefully these guys stay on after I leave. Obviously, not committing anyone to anything there, but but yeah, just because I log off doesn't mean you guys have to. Hope you guys have a good night if you do stay on. But. Talking more seriously now, we do actually have a close game on our hands here. Oi, okay. I actually just realised as well the big blocks in the middle there are a bit like a destroyed wall. They, uh, they're also destructible, which I often forget. Hey, here we go. I forgot the explosive arrows. This is where it's at. This, oh, okay. Good shot, Mr. Guy. <laughs> This is that perfect balance now, where we've got the opportunity to cause some damage, but we can actually kill somebody if if we get into a one-on-one -on -one fight. Oh, am I going to get big? Yes, got big Jimbo. Bow and arrows I'm actually half decent with on Far Cry. I mean, the fact that I'm using an explosive round right now kind of detracts from the talent that's required. But uh, I'll take what I can get. The shovel launcher I'm, I've always been horrible with. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a bit of a humorous chase we had going on there. That was a bit like... Ah, uh... oh, Tom and Jerry. I nearly said Ben and Jerry there. No scrim shot. <laughs> Tom and Jerry, that's what, that's what I was meant to say. A chase there. Okay. Other people have found the explosive arrows too. I've run out of explosive arrows. I've only got ordinary arrows. Big Jimbo has been slaughtered by my teammate up there. Don't know who it was, but thank you. Hey, Mr. Guy got a good shot on me there. It was explosive, apparently. Maybe an arrow. Don't quite know. Fallout says to try and destroy everything. I will do my best. I'm going to focus my attention on, uh, on their base. But yeah, it's such a cool map. Um, and... Uh, Fairness to the credit, my god, who was it? Sorry, I always get these to confuse Smithy and Macor. I believe it was Macor that made this one. Oh, I'm going to feel terrible if it's the wrong person. Hang on a minute, I've got to check this in chat. Working on it. Please stand by. Where is it? Hypersage. Yeah, Matt Cole. Sorry. There we go. Found it. Yeah, I believe Matt Cole did make this map. Um, and the big challenge for this was uh, the budgets. Uh, Matt Cole had to be very, very specific about where he placed things so he could split so many physics-related objects and these destructible items across... or, like, stretch it across the budget grid as much as possible. Um, otherwise, yeah, simply you would have hit the, the local budget limit. Um, which has caused a lot of people a lot of pain. So the fact that he's put this 
this many destructible objects in such a small space is so 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 impressive um, and the map is super unique because of it both in terms of visual style as we've discussed and then also destructibility as well all right i'm missing a lot of opportunities here they were all in one big group and i could have got quite a few kills <laughs> Yes, Macro reacting in chat. Um, again, that thirty second delay is kind of embarrassing me here. I knew it was, I knew it was Mac, but I always get Mac and Smithy confused for some reason. I probably shouldn't admit this on stream. <laughs> They've both been playing with us on these sessions for years, but for whatever reason, I always get their naps confused. So I wanted to uh, wanted to verify that. I could have winged it and pretended I knew exactly, but I didn't want to accidentally not give proper credit right i've been trying to destroy things got distracted by the players so i'm probably gonna let's get the vector out this is a gun we haven't used tonight clear out our base we kind of swap bases here oh m guy got me with the shovel launcher mr guy i mean so i'm just keeping an eye on the time here guys if you saw the thing uh popping up i just being conscious of the neighbors we do live in an apartment block it's getting late now so definitely will be the last map tonight big jimbo is down we have got a tie on our hands though so it's time to get serious all right smithy's trying to take us up the flamethrower we've got black is non-destructible remember here on this map so that saved us there i think i'm low on ammo i am oh come on down down he goes good effort though smithy nearly got the flank on me the announcer you're on fire for real it's uh <laughs> it was funny the first time i heard all these lines but like three years on they get a bit long in the tooth two minutes left but we're probably going to hit the score limit before then at this rate where is their base there we go i wish there was um you guys are probably going to hate what I'm about to say, but I wish there was cluster ammo for the mortars. Can you imagine the damage? Because <laughs> let's be honest, you can barely get a kill with these mortars in multiplayer. The uh, the warning icon comes up too early. You're there. there we go. I've taken Big Jimbo's health down a little bit. But there's no way I'm getting a kill with a pistol at that range. Smithy here, give one of our teammates a challenge. So there, they got someone up top. Where'd they go? Nicholas. There it is. That was a good shot. That was awesome. That was Michael Bay stuff. Hang on a minute. Free assassination coming up. Or not. Spoke a bit soon there. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, that's going to be me for tonight. Thank you so much for joining the uh, the live stream tonight for the very first one obviously a few rough edges that I'll, I'll iron out in the future sorry i haven't got to everyone in chat i've seen a lot of people commenting probably a few questions i didn't get to um, but i'm so grateful to everyone for tuning in uh, just a heads up we do normally host these every week but next saturday i am at an event so we will not be playing next saturday or streaming next saturday um, but i do hope to be back the following week so please do keep an eye out for the stream please do keep an eye out for the looking for group post on the sand builds test team uh, which is an xbox club that you guys can uh, join i post my looking for group post the day before if we are hosting um, a session that week so yes a bit of a shame i really wish i wish i could knock out two streams in a row two weeks in a row but unfortunately just can't this, the way the schedule works it just doesn't compute so yes please do hang around um for the next stream which will be in two weeks if all goes to plan um and thank you so much guys for coming along really really enjoyed this it was a great night thank you to everyone who joined us in game we got the lobby going in the end um and i hope everyone's gonna have an awesome awesome night